just um, thank you for, uh, for being with us this morning. Ambassador Bremer is in Baghdad. He's, he's the administrator of the Coalition's Provisional Authority in Iraq. And Mr. Ambassador, we hope you can hear us. Sense of the potable water uh, supply coming from Baghdad. So with that, uh, we are seeing organized attacks. Now, I think it's important to be clear that as far as we can tell, these are still small scale, that is to say five or six people, maybe, maybe ten at a time. There does not yet appear to be evidence of central command and control of these attacks, but they are, to answer your question, organized, and we have to deal with them. Did you expect weapons of mass destruction to be found in Iraq? Do you expect Saddam Hussein to be found or his remains to be found? There are weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, and Saddam had them, and he was developing them continuously. And I think if there is a, the correct way to look for them, then they will be found. Saddam, I believe, is still alive, and he is still inside Iraq working. And I think, again, if we look for him in an intelligent way, and that the energy against him and against the Ba'ath Party that is prevalent among the Iraqi people is mobilized and channeled uh, to work uh, in tandem with the U.S. forces, I think he will be found. Uh, there were a number killed. Large number. And we'll... we'll uh, I, think, I think there is uh, some indication that they're probably foreign fighters. Uh, they, uh, it was a tough fight. Uh, they were uh, well trained, well equipped, and and clearly uh, and clearly well prepared uh, for this for the fight they had. And uh, of course, our folks uh, uh, were likewise. And it's uh, it was a, it was a good thing, I think, because this is one of the the many types of groups that uh, we're going to have to confront, I think, in Iraq for some time to come. I guess my question is: Do you believe foreign fighters have played a 